and basically the whole thing in the West is going to fail. That's the way it's headed right now. Now, if somebody there wants to take some responsibility and change that and make a better outcome, I would be very pleased. But I don't see that person yet. I don't see any leadership developing among the devotees. I want to see some initiative. I want to see some people actually doing something. Huh? Otherwise, how are you going to get something together that's going to help you? You know, I just don't see where the leadership is going to come from. Huh? We've got these people going through the Bhakta course and they're just getting bogged down. They're not making progress. Bhakta Mike is the only one that's gotten through uh, the study course and is on the, no, aren't, isn't there one more on, you're on the Sanskrit course, aren't you? Yeah, so, you know, we have like two or three devotees who've gotten beyond the study course. All the other 30 students or something like that are bogged down in the study course. I mean, come on, let's get with it. Huh? So a comment? A comment? Yeah. I'm investing uh, almost all my day into this social networking stuff, and mm. I'm working also with Steve. Do you have your camera on? No. Show your face. I, I guess it's easier if I just sit here. Or just, yeah. Oh, yeah. Am I on the camera there? Yeah. Somewhere in here. <laughs> so, I'm working all day, I mean, based, literally all day, working on social networking, on how to, to enable devotees to connect to each other. So, really, uh, there's a lot of energy and intelligence put into that approach. If you see like the section that says users map, I mean, it doesn't get easier than that. You just click your region and find the pictures of everyone around you. So it's, this is, this kind of tools is the, the only thing we can really do to like handle lots of, of people coming in and, and if we learn to use this, this website, these kind of tools now, then we'll be very expert and we can build, start building real groups, you know. Uh, so please really like take this site seriously. What, what, what are you saying about preaching to others there is, is it's like so easy. You just look who's around your area and, and start building relationships, you know. When, it's, when it gets tough, you just call each other and then form a little group and then you're like five instead of being alone, you know. I'd like to see devotees forming food co-ops and stuff like that, food banks, you know. I'd like to see devotees um, working on, you know, living together, practicing Krishna consciousness together. Why don't you get together, rent a house together, you know. Or if somebody already owns a house, like invite somebody to come and live there. You know, I mean, like, what's the problem? Why are you Why are you staying separate when there's strength in numbers? Especially when you have some kind of alternative culture that's different from the average. Huh? You need each other's support. So I want to see these communities develop. It's really, it's time now. It's past time, actually, to start developing these communities. The writing is on the wall. The, the economy is, is really going down. Huh? And this uh, temporary little rally that's going on now is going to get stopped out in September or October, and uh, then it's, it's really going to go down. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I thought you were Well, I was kind of finished. Okay. So uh, there's lots of uh, a big message from Javier. So uh, I'll read yeah, Javier's it. doing something practical. Yeah, he has several ideas, so let me read. Um, I am currently in a situation where my time is very limited and I should be done reading the bridge community plan by the end of this weekend. I still need to read all of the other books and articles on water treatment, farming, building, etc. Since this, since this is going to take so long, I am going to go ahead and form two non-profit corporations. One corporation will be a food bank and the other 
I plan to form so I can eventually build com communities globally, starting in San Antonio, Texas. Do you think we should coordinate and delegate tasks between ourselves on the forum? I am the director of the Project Manager Institute in San Antonio. We have 1,000 project managers as local members. Wow. Once I get the nonprofits formed in one month, estimated time, I will get volunteer project managers to help me with the planning. I will get experts in all fields necessary following the model of the Africa Rising Project. Very good. I am about to reach out to the founder and ask him for info on how they started so I can learn from their mistakes. I think we should get together on the forums and divide up the tasks so we can make quick progress. Uh, Krishna will provide good people to join our communities if we take the initiative to get them started. How do you recommend we coordinate and delegate tasks? Well, there's a number of things we can do. Uh, you can start groups on the social networking site, uh, or we can even start a whole new site using the same or similar tools. Uh, you would have to be responsible for the administration, but we can provide the platform. We already have the server, we already have the software, uh, the plugins, and uh, the expertise. Uh, so, I mean, that would pretty much be a clone of the site that we've got already, just maybe with a different title or a different banner or different, something like that, yeah. and its own URL, its own domain. Uh, so, uh, yeah, if you want to do something like that, the project management aspect is crucial. Uh, the planning aspect is crucial. Um, the, the project that you're facing in the U.S. is really completely different animal than the project in Congo. Um, we have all their material. Uh, they've been very kind to share with us. And, uh, you know, if you get Kapila Dave's permission, we can ship all those documents over to you and you can see what they're doing. Um, but basically, they started with no money, no facilities, but they had land and they had people. And the, these people were desperate. I mean, how, to, to give you an idea how desperate they were, they, uh, when uh, Ashtatara Shatta Prabhu went over there for the first time uh, to the Congo, he said, you know, uh, we have to build uh, a, a building that the, the rats can't get in and steal the food. And the people said, oh, there's no rats. And he said, what, no rats? And he said, they said, yeah, we ate them all. And then? Oh, yeah. There was also a problem, a typical problem in Africa with certain kinds of snakes. In, and bugs in the fields. People were afraid to go out in the fields because there were these poisonous snakes and like that. So uh, when Ashto heard about that, he, he said, well, you know, aren't you afraid? What are we going to do about these, these uh, snakes? And the people said, oh, don't worry about that. We ate them too. Uh, and then, then there was a, they said, well, what, about, what are we going to do about cockroaches? Well, I guess you can figure out the answer. Uh. Anyway, so these were some desperate people, okay? Really, really, truly desperate people. And uh, the only way that, uh, that they could start, they got a little, a little literally seed money, uh, a little money, and they spent it on seeds. And then all through careful management, through intelligent management, they were able to build this thing up. So the, the main thing that they got, land, is very expensive in the West. Land and, and property and buildings and things like that are super, super expensive to build and to maintain in the West. Whereas where they were at, they got the land free. I think the first thing was like they had 100 acres or something like that free. 
and of course they can grow their own building materials and stuff like that because they can make houses out of grass, bamboo, uh, they make their own bricks, they have a brick making operation which is basically just uh, sand and, and uh, clay and lime and they put them in molds and dry them in the sun uh, and then they fire them in the oven and uh, so then they make you know, buildings out of these and uh, what else do they do? So they, they pretty much build everything, built everything themselves. So the, the labor was free and the land and the building materials were basically free. So they just started with a little cash and now they're approaching something like uh, 10 million dollars a year worth of produce and they're feeding I don't know how many thousands of people uh, from this. So you know the, the, the limiting factor in the West is always going to be 